Hello everyone, Game Crazy here. Welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. In the last episode, we successfully helped a woman in the Middle Ages who sheer determined wanted to bring determination wanted to bring a forest back to life. If we head to the present, we'll see there's a forest here where we are. That Robo and uh, Fiora, Fiona, one of the two, helped uh, bring back. In today's episode, we are going to go flying with the epic. Here's the Black Omen. We are not going there right now. Where we are instead going is over... Actually, first thing first, I want to go to the present, because there's something I forgot to gra grab up there. And, uh, it should... Yeah, it's like right here, where we have to go anyway. So anyways, walk up here. Forest Ruins. This is an area we could have gone to quite a few times earlier. We get a mid ether here. Use the pendant on this spot. Pendant. This was uh, something that was being guarded within the Dark Ages. It was being sealed with the power of the pendant, so we used the pendant and now we get our choice of these two chests. The seal's been broken. I will give you the treasure of the Guru of Reason. To the right is a weapon which increases strength. This is for Chrono. To the left is protective gear, which will guard your life. Choose what treasure you feel you need and you take it with you. Uh. 13,000 years was a long time. Balthazar, I shall see you shortly. Now anyways, the weapon, it's uh, only for Chrono. It is it is a pretty good weapon, but his better weapon we will be getting much later down the line. So I'm just going to take the armor, which I actually don't know what it is. It's a safe helm. Alright, uh, let's... Cuts physical damage by one third. That's actually pretty good. Uh, let's give you that. And give you that. You that. You that. You that. You that. Everyone is as good equipped as they can be. Okay, and without further ado, let's go to the Middle Ages where we have to go through Ozzy's little fort that he has. Which is conveniently enough right here. I'm sure th plenty of you noticed this thing here. This is Ozzy, where Ozzy's been hiding out. Ozzy's fort. Come on in! This is the great Aussie's place. What the? Whoa! Y you're the great Janice. Uh, this is kind of a problem with the game. The game replaces Magus with Janice, or whatever you named him. So in other words, you can completely muff this up. You're doing well, Aussie. The nerve. Deserting your fellow mystics to serve these humans. You're a traitor! You're not our king! Why did you desert us? Banana. So anyways, go through here. Oh, there's nothing going on here. You pesky low-down good-for-nothings. Ooh, I'll have you... Wait a minute. I just remembered something. Uh... Wrong button. I'm gonna get rid of Robo here and get put in Isla. The reason why, uh, you'll see soon enough. Uh, I forget if it has to be during those fights or not. Pesky low down, blah blah blah. Flea! Flea's here! You sent for me? Well, if it isn't Sir Janus. Who'd you bribe to get in here? Traitors like you deserve a beating. Oh great, Ozzy. Stand back and let me take care of these Cretans. I'm counting on you, Flea. Get ready for a slapping good time. Get it? 
This is Flea Plus. The reason why I put Isla in here. Isla's charm move. I don't know if it works on this fight, but I definitely know the final fight. Okay, yeah. For the final fight with uh, these, th with uh, there's going to be a final fight basically where you have to face Flea slash and Ozzy all together. If you use Isla's charm on all three of them, you get three different items. Uh, one of them will get you uh, weapon for Chrono called uh, Slasher Two Slasher Plus, something like that. Uh, you'll get Ozzy's pants, uh, which is a helmet, I believe. And what does Flea give you? I think Flea just gives you like a magic up or something. Uh, I need to buy tonics again. Uh, actually, I don't really need to buy them. I guess I'm kind of good for the rest of the game. Anyways, here we have Ozzy's typical... Nothing but common thieves. Anyone who tries to steal my treasure is looking for a very cruel death. He brings forth monsters. And away we go. But notice the moving platforms. Yeah, the game developers kind of realized, you know what? These guys are stupidly easy for you to beat. Let's just make Ozzy completely look completely stupid. So yeah, Ozzy's in a pickle. Out of here. And Ozzy left. Uh, there's no way to get up there. Come in here and there's another fight. You still haven't given up? Well, how about a good thrashing? Slash! You rang? Slash, don't let me down. At first, I really didn't want to slice and dice ya, but now it sounds kind of fun. Ready? So anyways, considering we gave Chrono the uh, one thing, this should actually be pretty easy. I'm going to check Charm. Eh, it missed, of course. Uh, but I'm still going to check Charm whenever Isla gets another turn. <laughs> As you can see, they don't really do much damage on their own. They're not really that big of a threat. Okay, yeah. Thought they counted, so you don't get anything from these guys. Don't waste your... Uh, MP charming. You could probably hear my button clicking in the background because this controller is like stupidly loud. But at least it works. All the buttons work. It even has analog sticks, so I can do like I could do an N64 game. I could I got a uh, GameCube emulator on here now, so I can play like GameCube games if I really feel like it. Though to be honest, half of them would not work for recording because they all are fairly slow and I'd have to have another program open to record them so anyways, here's a new room come on sweethearts so as you can see he's got this trap here over the chest just ignore it for now don't you want the treasure box probably filled with goodies found the treasure Oz, Ozzy stumped. Out of here. And now we can go get the treasure, which actually isn't that worthwhile. It's a full ether, full ether. And here's the fight I was talking about. Hehe, <laughs> not so fast, friends. I'm not going to make it that easy for you. Ozzy pants, flea vest, slasher two. These unique items make us invincible. Charm the item away from him. One slasher two. <laughs> Chrono is taking like no damage from anything here. As you can see, Chrono gets kind of stupidly overpowered with my methods. 
And they also do counterattacks like every turn, pretty much. So we're gonna charm Ozzy and get his pants from him. Uh, we're going to magic wall Isla. As you can see, they can also use Delta Force. Uh, yeah. Uh, kind of hurts, but at the same time, nothing. A little magic wall shouldn't uh, fix. Yeah, Janice is kind of nice just because of like magic wall. Let's get try and get those stupid pants already, and we will magic wall Chrono. Get his pants. Good job, Isla. Uh, yeah, basically you attack Ozzy, you get it uh, triple attack. You want to make sure he's kind of out first. I will use a... Lapis. Take that, you stupid flea! You shall charm flea. Janice, use our last lapis and attack you. And we have the flea vest now. We stole all their items. Bad impulse. Three something technique. Kind of. Kind of. I don't know. As you see, Flea runs away after so long, so... Ozzy really does nothing by himself. Okay, die. Great Ozzy, die. There we go. What in the... Yes, and now we've stolen all their items. Slasher 2 is a much better weapon than the Aeon Blade we have here. Aussie Pants, uh, they increase your defense, but they give you kind of random stats. Bit of a problem. Uh, Flea Vest gives you a lot of magic defense. Uh... Yeah, so... Uh... Worth giving to Robo, actually, because Robo is... 
Rube is kind of meant to be tanky, but he has horrible magic def defense. Magic really hurts him. It makes him a bit better. Uh, I'll give the Aussie pants to Luca and show off what they do later. Uh, here we got a dash ring and a sight cap. Uh, dash ring just gives you a lot of speed. Yeah, speed plus three. As you can see, that actually puts Chrono up at star, 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 which is max. Uh, sight cap prevents chaos. We still have more to go, though. Janice, you lied when you said you wanted to create a world of evil. You used me. Oh, how dreadful. Say, can you hear that? It's the sound of the Reaper. I can't lose. What would become of the Mystics? I must win. Yeah, so uh, hit those buttons behind them. You have to hit them in the same exact order every time. Mwah! Gotcha! Adios, amigos. So as you can see, the first button is a trap. It just drops us down one floor below. We literally run right back in here after him. Never! You will never defeat me! And here's the funny part of the fight. Hello, little kitten. No, 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 not that switch! You idiot. What do you want? I don't understand. And, uh... Yeah, that's the end of Ozzy. So, uh... Let's... Let's kind of run out of here. I don't want to get in trouble for murdering him when it was actually a kitten. I'll, I'll gladly take it if I killed him myself, but it was a kitten. Anyways, that does it for The Fugitive in the Middle Ages, Ozzy. Next episode, we will be going to the future. And we will be going to where machinery originated in the future. See you guys next time. Bye.